So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. Just recently, a few days ago, as of the making of this very video here, um, I published a, um, a video where I showed you the movement of chloroplasts inside a plant cell due to so-called cytoplasmic streaming. There's a link, of course, uh, in the description below. And uh, it didn't take long for a few questions uh, to appear. And uh, I got some questions uh, being asked uh, in the comment section of the YouTube video. But uh, also a friend of mine, um, yeah, just sent me um, a question over uh, over text message here on my mobile phone. Um, and he said the following, I'm watching one of your videos now and it begs a question. Um, chloroplasts, uh, they move in order to perform a certain biological function. And well, how do they know, and he put it under quotation marks, how do they know how to move and what biological process drives that? Well, I think it's a very interesting one. Thank you for the question, by the way. Um, and uh, to be very brief, um, the answer could be as simple as that. How does a pen, which I have over here, I've got a pen here, when I drop it, it will fall to, to the ground, it will fall to the center of the earth. How does this pen know that it has to fall to the ground. Well, of course, it doesn't know that, but it acts because there are forces acting on the pen. And it's similar with the chloroplasts that are moving inside uh, the cell. They're moving uh, not on their own in this case, but because but there are forces acting on uh, this, uh, the chloroplasts that cause them to move um, in the cell. What are these forces? Well, that is the movement of, of the liquid contents of the cell, of the cytoplasm of the cell. And uh, this streaming of the cytoplasm pulls along and drags along uh, those chloroplasts. Well, of course, we have the next question. What causes the cytoplasm to move? Well, uh, they are uh, protein fibers, protein filaments, as a matter of fact, uh, inside the cell um, called actin and myosin. These are very um, yeah, long um, and uh, thin fibers. And what they do is those actin and myosin fibers filaments, they slide against each other. And this causes the movement um, of the cytoplasm inside the cell. Why do they do that? Well, the cytoplasm um, streams in order to redistribute the nutrients. But what causes the, uh, the filaments uh, to slide? past each other. Well, that's again a chemical process which requires ATP, which is an energy carrying molecule. And so on. And you can continue to ask on like this, uh, yeah, basically until all eternity. Um, there will always be, once you've got an answer, there will always be the next question, right? Um, so ultimately, we're probably never going to reach uh, yeah, a, a final answer. It's a little bit like asking what was first, the chicken or the egg? Um, yeah, and uh, here as well. But the one thing that I can simply say is, is that that uh, those cells that were successful, um, those cells were actually able to survive. And that's why we see them these days. Yeah, and what we're not able to see, of course, are the not so successful attempts because uh, they were not able to survive up to this point. We're only able to see, see those biological processes and those uh, organisms that were successful enough uh, to survive. Yeah, and uh, cytoplasmic streaming is uh, one of those biological processes that cells need um, in order to survive. Well, I hope uh, that uh, this short explanation answered uh, your question. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.